I'm Ed Poole. And I'm Susan Poole. And welcome to Louisiana Film History Flashback. In this episode, we're going to travel north from New Orleans across Lake Pontchartrain, which covers 630 square miles and is bordered by six parishes to an area called the North Shore. There, in a small bayou community called Bayou Liberty, now considered an unincorporated part of Slidell, 20th Century Fox filmed their fantasy adventure, Wake Up and Dream. According to the studio's press release, this was the first full-length, technicolored picture made in the Louisiana bayous. World War II was still raging, so the studio wanted a film that was intended to provide an enjoyable escape and relief from the war. Filming started in 1945, but as they were finishing the film, the war suddenly ended. While everyone was elated, it changed the entire marketing campaign and took away a lot of the focus of the film, so it didn't receive the attention that it deserved. Wake Up and Dream did introduce the extremely popular song, Give Me the Simple Life, which has been recorded many times by artists such as Ben Crosby, Benny Goodman, Tony Bennett, and many others. It was sung in the film by John Payne, who starred in the film. So let's flash back to 1946 for the often overlooked film, Wake Up and Dream. Almost three decades before Bayou Liberty provided the speedway for James Bond's record-setting high-energy boat chase in 1973's Live and Let Die, the normally quiet bayou and its surrounding community made its first screen appearance in Wake Up and Dream. This 1946 film was based on the popular fantasy novel The Enchanted Voyage, written by Robert Nathan. Nathan was a prolific writer, novelist, poet, musical composer, and screenwriter, producing 40 novels, two children's books, two non-fiction books, and 10 books on poetry in his lifetime. He was best known for his book Portrait of Jenny, a haunting romantic fantasy which was made into a 1948 movie. Several other novels were made into films, including The Clock, 1945, starring Judy Garland and Robert Walker, and The Bishop's Wife, made into a 1947 film under the same title, starring Cary Grant, Loretta Young, and David Niven. It was remade again more recently as The Preacher's Wife, starring Denzel Washington. Nathan's book, One More Spring, from 1933, focused on the lives of a group of displaced people living in Central Park during the Great Depression and how they helped each other cope with their bleak lives. It was made into a film directed by Henry King and released in 1935. 20th Century Fox purchased the rights for Enchanted Voyage in 1936 for $10,000. It was initially intended as a vehicle for child star Shirley Temple. After several different treatments under the working titles of Enchanted Voyage and Give Me the Simple Life, the final screenplay was written by Alec Maul, and the film was released under the title Wake Up and Dream. The movie is a whimsical tale of people who dare to dream and whose dreams come true. A fantasy with music, Wake Up and Dream, marks the first time that Louisiana's Bayou Country was filmed in Technicolor. The story features an old man and his dreams, a homemade schooner that sails imaginary seas, a little girl whose unwavering faith inspires the strangest voyage ever made in the Louisiana Bayous, a boy who went to war and came back a man, and the girl who waited for him to return. The film starred John Payne, June Haber, Clem Bevins, Charlotte Greenwood, John Ireland, and Charlie Russell. Although given top billing, Payne only appeared at the beginning and the end of the film as the sailor presumed to be lost at sea. Payne also sings the opening song. Apparently, <laughs> director Lloyd Bacon had never heard W.C. Fields' adage about working with children and animals as this film starred both. Popular child actress Connie Marshall starred as a nine-year-old orphan searching for her lost sailor brother played by Payne. Marshall had had a successful career during the post-World War II years, including roles in Mother Wore Tights in 1947 with Betty Grable and Dan Daly and Mr. Blanding's Bill's His Dream House as an offspring of Cary Grant and Myrna Loy. The canine star of the film was Rami, 
an unknown breed who is in great demand by filmmakers. Rami got into performing quite by accident. Animal trainer Frank Weatherwax had brought some dogs to show Cecil B. DeMille. Rami, who was just a pup at the time, went along for the ride. When DeMille looked over the dogs, he pointed to Rami. When Weatherwax explained that Rami wasn't trained and was just along for the ride, DeMille told him, take it home and train it. Rami could play both a thoroughbred carn when groomed and trimmed and a vagabond mutt when roughed up. Rami's roles included the uninvited, Sunday dinner for a soldier, and destination Tokyo. Added to the company on location as stand-ins were Patsy Pichon and Paul Burke. Pichon, a Slidell fourth grader, acted as Marshall's stand-in. She attended school on location with Marshall during the shoot. Burke was John Ireland's stand-in. Burke was also the son of local fighter Marty Burke, who would go on to have a successful acting career of his own, starring in movies and television shows. Location shooting began in May of 1945 along Bayou Liberty and on the north shore of Lake Pontchartrain. The scenes along the bayou included the bridge crossing at the bayou as well as the historic St. Genevieve Catholic Church as it stood in 1945. The film company's presence in the community caused a misunderstanding with some locals. In one scene, Ireland, who played the role of Harry Williams, was supposed to drive a small, broken-down truck across a toll bridge spanning Bayou Liberty. The truck had signs advertising Harry Williams' sharpening service. Ireland nearly ran the truck through the guardrail and off the bridge. He later admitted that he had only driven a car once or twice and had never even driven a truck. The director ordered that he was given driving lessons immediately. Assistant Director Reed Kilgore volunteered to teach Ireland. While they drove down the road, Ireland circled down a street with a cluster of houses. The truck had a bell which attracted the attention of local housewives who began to chase down the truck with instruments in their hands which needed sharpening. Ireland just continued driving, leaving the housewives bewildered. Production in the area lasted four weeks, at which point the company left to complete the film in California. Bacon sent a dozen laborers into the swamps to collect a hundred bales of Spanish moss to ship back to Arcadia, California, where the final scenes were to be shot. But this was not an easy task. California had a special quarantine against Spanish moss in which the dreaded cotton boll weevil is known to hibernate. In order to pass the rigid border test and allow the moss into California, it was first necessary to fumigate it with methyl bromide. The moss was then packed into a refrigerated freight car. After being kept at freezing temperature for 24 hours, the doors were opened and the moss was given an airing. This required two full days and then the car was refrigerated again for the long trip westward. Wake Up and Dream had its world premiere in Los Angeles on November the 27th, 1946, and a general release in December. The film is most known for introducing the popular song, Give Me the Simple Life, which was written in 1946 by Rube Bloom and Harry Ruby, and sung by John Payne and June Haver in the film. This has been a presentation of Hollywood on the Bayou, preserving Louisiana's rich film history with books, prints, presentations, and exhibits. If you have questions, comments, or to learn more, you can visit our Facebook page or sign up for our Louisiana and Film newsletter, which is on our website, hollywoodonthebayou.com. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Louisiana Film History Flashback. Sue and I thank you, and we'll see you next time.